Today I'm sharing a recipe for an easy fish stew that includes a fish bone broth that's iodine rich, perfect for good thyroid health. Hi sweet friends, I'm Mary and welcome to Mary's Nest where I teach traditional cooking skills for making nutrient dense foods like bone broths, ferments, sourdough, and more. So if you enjoy learning about those things, consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to click on the little notification bell below. That'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Well, the list of ingredients to make this fish stew are very simple. You're gonna want some chopped onion. This was two small chopped onions. If you have one large onion chopped, that's fine too. It's very flexible. You don't need to worry about being exact. And then I've just got one bunch of parsley that I chopped up. And then in here, I've just got a little bit of seasoning and this will adjust at the end when we taste it. But to start, I've got a teaspoon of uh, coarse uh, Celtic sea salt. I like the wet gray Celtic sea salt. And I've just started with a teaspoon of that. I have a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper and about an eighth of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. That's just for a little spice. If you don't want that, you can certainly leave them out. And then you're also gonna want a can of chopped tomatoes. And here I've got a cup of white vermouth. Now uh, you can also use white wine. And if you wanna just leave that out, you can and just use some water in place of that. And then finally, uh, well not finally, we have one more ingredient, the fish, the star of the show, which we'll get to in a minute. But over here I've got eight cups of fish bone broth. And this is my homemade fish bone broth. Um, you can certainly use store-bought, but I highly recommend uh, making your own. It's very easy to make, and I'll uh, link to my, the video where I show you how to make fish bone broth in the iCard above, and I'll also link to it in the description below. Uh, it's very easy to make, and it's very inexpensive to make, because basically you're just gonna use fish bones. And the nice thing about fish bone broth is that it's very high in iodine, which is wonderful for nourishing our thyroids. And here I've got just about two pounds or so of halibut. You can use any white fish that you have, but what I reccommend is if you can, talk to the fishmonger at your grocery store and see if you can buy some little bits of bits and bobs, so to speak, of a white fish that maybe they've cut up uh, that were maybe the end pieces or when they were um, cutting the fillets, maybe if there was a piece that wasn't perfect. And so sometimes they have these little cut up pieces that are gonna be a lot less expensive than buying a nice fillet of fish and then cutting that up uh, to make a fish stew. And I just hate doing that. If you have a beautiful fillet, it's just nice to cook it like that. You don't really wanna cut that up and make a fish stew out of it. So you really wanna to talk to the fishmonger and say, you know, do you have any little uh, pieces of white fish uh, that uh, were left over from when they were cutting up the nice fillets? And that's perfect for making a fish stew with, and it's gonna be considerably less expensive than buying the filet. Now, as I said, this is halibut, and I actually bought this online from Vital Choice, uh, Vital Choice Seafood, and it's a wonderful company. I really like buying fish from them, and they sell packages of cut up pieces of fish that are basically, as I said, you know, left over from when they were cutting up nice individual pieces that they package and sell and whatnot that are more costly. But these little chunks are very inexpensive. And so I love buying these and keeping them in my freezer and they're easy to pull out. They come pre-packaged, I defrost a package and then I can make a fish stew. And it's much more affordable and I just feel a lot better about it than cutting up a nice beautiful filet. And I've got some good news. The folks at Vital Choice have given me a special discount code for my viewers. So if you want to make a purchase from them, be sure to check the information in the description below. Well, in my soup pot here, I've got a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm just going to bring this up to medium heat and I'm going to get ready to cook the onions. Well, now I've got this up to temp, so I'm going to go ahead and just add in these onions and we're going to saute them just until they're translucent. We don't want to brown them. And while I'm sauteing these up, I'll go ahead and add in the salt and the black pepper and the red pepper flakes. Well, I've got the onions nicely sauteed and I'm just gonna add this white vermouth to deglaze the pan. Now I'm just gonna bring this up to a boil and let some of that alcohol cook off. Alrighty, well, I'll let some of that alcohol cook off 
And now what I like to do is at this point I like to add the fish. And the reason is this gives the outside of the fish a chance to just saute a bit before I add in the liquid and that lets the protein uh, in the fish cook and not it, it prevents doing it this way prevents a sort of milky white appearance in the fish stew. So I recommend doing this, adding the fish at this point before you add the liquid. I think you'll find that just kind of quickly sauteing the fish on the outside will help uh, prevent that sort of white milky appearance that can develop when you just add raw fish to a, a heated liquid. It's just a quick saute and I'll overlay a picture so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. You're not cooking it through, you're just cooking the outside quickly. And now we're going to go ahead and add in our parsley and then we'll get ready to add in our tomatoes and finish it off with the fish broth. In go the can of tomatoes. We'll just give everything a stir and then we'll add in that fish bone broth. Now we'll add in this fish bone broth and you want this to be warm. You don't want to be adding in cold liquid because then it'll take a long time to come up uh, to a simmer and uh, we don't want to overcook the fish. Well I've brought this up to a simmer. I'm just going to let it simmer for a few more minutes and then it'll be ready. Well I let this simmer for a few minutes and I think it's all ready to eat. I'm just going to taste this broth to check for seasoning. Oh, that's perfect. It's delicious. You're going to love making your own fish bone broth uh, for using in recipes like this. It just adds such a wonderful flavor when it's homemade. Well, this fish stew looks beautiful and I'll overlay a picture so you can get a real close up look of it. But let's just take a little taste. I want to. The broth is wonderful. But now let's see how the fish, the tomatoes and the parsley is. Mmm. Oh, everything is cooked perfectly. This is so delicious. It comes together so quickly and it's so nutritious. If you'd like to learn more about traditional cooking and making nutrient dense meals like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel and then click on this video over here where I show you how to make homemade fish bone broth. And I'll see you over there in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love and God bless.